Hey guys, it's Adam. Welcome to the Vintage Sanctuary. Episode number 20 has spawned, but is it Warren Ted? Well, it's not Warren Ted, it's actually Warren Spawn. I have no clue how I have managed not to get a YouTube bad pun strike against me. Nonetheless, let me get you some looks at hooks while we talk about Warren Spawn. Nicknamed Hooks, not because of his pitches, but because he had been hit in the face by a ball and the resulting broken nose had a hook-like shape. A beast of a pitcher, one of the best lefty pitchers of all time, an Iron Man who pitched 382 complete games. Most pitchers' arms would have fallen off. 63 shutouts. More than the number of girls who rejected me in high school. 363 wins. How good is that? Well, he is the winningest left-hander in the history of of Major League Baseball. Wow. However, back in the day, Spawn had a really tough time using scissors. I know because I'm a lefty as well. I was almost compelled to be a righty in grade school. I was just on the cusp of the era of converting grade school left-handers to right-handers. Spahn accomplished all of this despite missing three seasons to World War II, where he became a war hero who was awarded a battlefield commission. Let's look at this sweet Spahn card in more detail, then talk some more about Spahn, and then look at my other sweet Spahn card. This is a beauty of a card that came up in April of this year, and I pounced on it, the 1954 Red Heart Dog Food Warren Spawn in an SGC 3.5. Wow! Just the slightest bit of toning to enhance the eye appeal. I give this a 10 for toning. It's got some uh, little printer, black printer marks all over to enhance the eye appeal. Again, 10 for printer marks. Look at the the color on this, such a beautiful card. And uh, wow, did they use some heavy duty card stock for these, these Red Heart dog food cards. And here's the back. Notice the back is off center to the left. I've noticed that uh, just about all of these are off center to the left. In fact, generally where this black border will be off of the side of the card. And in many cases, the left baseball will be cut into as well. So why did this card get a 3.5? Uh, it could be the back centering. I guess it could be that toning or those print marks. However, I have seen even sevens with back centering that's worse than this. It seems like just about every single 1954 Red Heart Warren Spawn is off center to the left on the back at least everyone I've seen as I've looked. And uh, in many cases, the grading companies will give them high, high grades with that off-center on the back. So I don't know. I just know this card is absolutely stunning. I mean, look how sharp this card is. And of course, on the front, the centering is just, just wonderful for the issue. Beautiful, beautiful card. So the 1954 Red Heart Dog Food cards were issued in three series of 11 cards. They were advertised in the Sunday newspaper comics. I'm old enough to remember when us kids would get excited about reading the Sunday comics in the newspaper. All you had to do was eat two cans of Red Heart Dog Food and send in a dime to get one of the 11 card series delivered to your home via mail. Okay, I guess you didn't technically have to eat the dog food yourself, but I would have if that's what it took to get these vintage beauties. By the way, there's some wonderful cards in the Red Hearts, the 54 uh, Red Heart dog food set. There's the Stan Musial 
Oh, that is a gorgeous card. Would love to have that. The Ted Klazuski. The Carl Erskine. A card known to me only because of the Drew. Each of the three series carries its own color background, blue, green, or red. Of course, the Spawn is from the green background series. These cards can be found in pretty nice shape because thankfully, Red Heart resisted inserting the cards into the middle of the dog food cans. Wow, this card is just stunning. Spawn has a baker's dozen 20 plus win seasons. That's right, 13 20 plus win seasons. How good is that? Well, it's tied with Christy Mathewson and behind only Cy Young who had 15 plenty 20 plus win seasons. Spawn led his league in wins eight times. How good is that? Well, that's the best ever in Major League Baseball history. Second place is shared by three pitchers who each led their league in wins six times. Wow. A bit of Spawn trivia. Spawn has 35 career home runs as a pitcher, tied for second place all time in Major League Baseball history. Spawn won a Cy Young in 1957, the same year his team, the, the Milwaukee Braves, won the World Series championship. Spawn was a cerebral pitcher who liked to outwit batters. According to Spawn, hitting is timing, pitching is upsetting timing. Spawn was known for using a very high leg kick to start his pitches, confusing batters by showing three balls instead of one. Okay, that was some Pepino Man humor there. <laughs> as a lefty, Spawn could keep track of any runner on first base, as well as avoid telegraphing whether he was throwing to the plate or to first base, thus requiring the runner to stay close to the first base bag. Okay, are you ready to see my one other Spawn card? Well, first, a word from our Sponsor. Today's video is Sponsored, by Spontaneous Solutions, an organization that exists to promote the spontaneous collecting of Warren Spawn cards. So what are you waiting for? Pause this video and go make a spontaneous purchase. It is totally warranted. Spontaneous Solutions is a zero-fee nonprofit. Exclusive, exclusive membership is reserved for all who have ever made a spontaneous Warren Spawn card purchase. All right, are you ready? My only other Warren Spawn card. Wow, wow. Shiny and chrome cards bow to its radiant supremacy. Wow. I won this at auction in September of last year for what I thought was a fantastic price. Who doesn't love that bold red background? The 1952 Topps Jackie Robinson has a bold red background as well, and that would be a wonderful card to have, but this card is much more budget friendly. So let's take a look at this. Wow, an SGC5. It's the black back. There's also a red back version. So, you know, I could get that too at some point. Although these these get kind of pricey. But like I say, I think I got a great deal on this. Look at that. Notice that extra ink. That's extra ink, which I don't mind because extra ink just means really vivid colors. Extra ink from the printing process. I mean, look at that. Nicely centered. Look at that red background. This is just gorgeous. I guess you are looking at it. And here's the back. The back is just clean. Back is well-centered, too. The back is just absolutely gorgeous as well. Who doesn't just love 52 tops? Wow. All right, let me end this by seeing if I can show you both of my spawn cards at once. I suppose maybe the 52 should be on the left since 52 comes before 54. Let's see if I can show both of these beauties at once and get them in there. Wow, wow, what gorgeous vintage beauties. Thank you for sharing in my joy, my collector friends. I hope you had a wonderful and peaceful time in the Vintage Sanctuary.